Hello, my name is Alex and this is going to be a demonstration of a 200, which is a plain paper labeler. Um, for um, What it does is it applies glue to a stack of labels and it wraps it around round containers. So we're going to go ahead and demonstrate it with the um, smaller containers and then we'll do a change over to the larger containers. Okay, okay so we're going to take our stack of labels. You can put up to a, about a half inch stack, which is what I recommend. This one's a little bit smaller, it's a quarter inch. Now you just go ahead and fan them forward. Just going to orient them correctly. We already have our label guides set up, as you can see here, but it'll just be thumb locks. You can just move them left and right. And then we have our container. And our container just go ahead and fits in there. We could adjust it for different diameters, from one inch to 12 inches in diameter. We have our guides, which allows us to move the container left and right. So the machine's been on for about 90 minutes. The glue is warm, it allows the machine to spin. You just go ahead and insert, you can see here, it feeds the label on, just like that. Now this label is a good size, it's good on the width, but it is, um, it's wrapping around a couple times. But you can see here, perfect overlap, absolutely perfect. And if I was running the label a little bit on the bottom, to adjust it, it's very, very simple. All we need to do is move down the container. So I'm going to move it down. I'll use the same container. Just insert it. And just like that. You can see we've moved it up about an eighth of an inch. And once again, you have absolutely perfect overlap. Usually we rate the machine within a sixteenth of an inch, but you can see it's even better than that. So let me go ahead and just run through these. I think these are pretty much the same. You should be able to average about 25 containers a minute. And that's it. We just did um, all this. Well, let me do this last one right here. Perfectly applied. Looks absolutely great. And so I'm going to go ahead and put these off to the side and then we'll go to our next container, which are these much larger, um, wider label and larger diameter. So the first thing I like to do is to grab my labels. I'm just going to pull these out to see how easy that is. I'm just going to go ahead and open up my label guides. See here? Just like that. Usually you want to run the label pretty much in the center line of the machine, which is this middle label feed tire. Doesn't have to be perfect, but that's just a good indication right there. Okay. Open up my guides, my product guides. Lift up the overhead pressure arm. And what I'm going to do is get things kind of sided. So I like to bring a label down. I'm just going to go ahead and side it. Just like that. Okay. That's pretty much, I think, pretty good. Okay. So I got everything kind of blocked in. Now I need to make some final adjustments. First thing I'm going to do is going to open up my carriage because I'm doing a different diameter. You can see it's just turning this knob. You can go anywhere from 1 inch to 12 inches in diameter. You just want it to be supported by both sets of rollers and not touching this finger bar. Okay. Just like that. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is adjust my overhead pressure arm. Standard feature on all of our machines. It allows you to do unfilled or light containers. So I just move the middle arm, loosen it up. I can slide it left or right, and then I'm going to set my gap for the stop. The reason why we do that is you don't have to lift it up each and every time. You just insert it, and the container just lifts it up, puts weight on it, and allows it to rotate nice and smoothly. Now our final adjustment is going to be to adjust these tires. And the reason why one of the great features of this machine is that you could clear these ridges. You could get these tires to be on the inside where it's going to wrap the label around the container nice and tight. 
very, very important feature. So generally what I like to do is the rule of thumb is just to match the label width. Okay. So I just take my Allen wrench tool. I'm just going to go ahead and slide these collars over. And I always recommend giving yourself a little bit of room so you can move the container left and right. So you don't want to be right on the edge of the label. You want to be about a half an inch away. Okay. I can move these. And they don't have to be perfectly spaced. I mean, you could if you want to, but this is pretty much good right here. Just like that. Okay. And then you want to do it for these white tires. And the white tires, you could just match it to your stainless steel polish. Turn on the machine, take your Allen wrench tool, and then just slide them over. Just like that. Just less than a couple minutes. And then we would set our timer here. This is our pre-feed. This is, tells how much of these, how long these black tires to spin for. For most labels, it's going to be a setting of five. You just want enough of the label to get up to the spinning container. Uh, if you're doing very short labels, you're going to use a smaller timer value. Very long labels, much higher number. The rule of thumb is if you get one label on for five, just leave it. You get more than one label and turn down your time. If you don't get enough of the label up to the spinning container, then just turn your time up. Okay. What I'm going to go ahead and do, though, is I'm going to turn the timer to zero. I'm going to hold this label back and I'm just going to insert it. And the reason why I'm doing that is I just want to see how well the container is spinning. It's jumping up moving left or right and you can see it looks really good nice and steady you can see there's good contact all the way across the face of the container i can move these white tires out a little bit if i wanted to and that should be dead on adjust my guide you don't want your guides too tight especially with the metal container so you want a little bit of play. Turn up my time to five. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this label out because the heat usually makes it curl a little bit. So we'll just pop that one. Bring my guides back in. Make sure everything's... Okay. Go ahead, turn it on, and we'll see where it goes. So it's stalled out. I'm just going to increase my time. And just insert. And then it should go on. Okay. You can see we're a little bit on the high side. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm just going to move the container. This is a tight label. So it's going to be a small adjustment. I'll use the same container and we'll see where it goes. That's absolutely perfect. You can see we have about a sixteenth of an inch on either side. Good clearance, perfect overlap. Looks absolutely fantastic. So let me just go ahead and run through these. That's it. Every single one perfectly placed. Absolutely perfect overlap within a 30 seconds of an inch. And looks um, fantastic. And let me just point out one really neat feature of the three of uh, the 200. 
is that it is putting a skip glue pattern on the label, which is really nice. It allows the label to look absolutely perfect because we're just putting glue on the edges, as you can see here. So about three quarters of an inch on the trailing edge and about, about probably about two inches on the leading edge. And you can see that's on very, very securely. So you're going to have to rip the paper. So that is the 200. If there's any questions, please give us a call. Thank you very much.